So you 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 ready to hang up your player card? I mean, how do you define player? You know, I don't know. You're a player. You crush a lot. I don't know. Tell you. Talk. <laughs> no, I mean, no. I no. I I am definitely willing to to hang up the, the player card. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. Crush a lot. Crush a lot. Crush a lot. Mmm, child. The signs were always there. Hello everybody and welcome back to Taste of Reality. My name is Queenie for those who don't know me and today we would normally be watching Married at First Sight but as you know the season has wrapped but the drama continues. I wanted to talk about the whole Zach situation and before I get into it I do want to preface this is not a means for you guys to then go over to his page and spew hate at him like he's still a real person. I just thought it was an interesting conversation because the allegations are things that were happening throughout the season. And I also just wanted to talk about the Zach type and just get your feelings on how you um, how you feel about how he's going about things, the women involved, if you've dealt with somebody who was like a Zach. So yeah, that's all this video is about. Keep the conversation here, please. He doesn't need any more hate. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. So if you did not know by now, Zach has been confirmed to have cheated on Bao, and now the rumor, it, I don't even know if it's a rumor because it's coming out of the horse's mouth. Now the rumor is that he was cheating throughout the entire filming of Mary at first sight so i was watching the uh little black book youtube channel i will have it linked in the description below where she did um record a conversation between her and zach and i will insert um i'll insert an excerpt of just little clips here and there that i feel stood out to me just a disclaimer that texas and louisiana are both one party consent states meaning that i had every legal right to record the phone call um, without his knowledge, but he did know that I recorded the, fo the phone call. I told him afterwards. Well, there's literally women claiming that they were hanging out with you while you were doing filming for the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as I've stated in other interviews, there are other women um, that were involved, and as you can tell by this, they date back all the way to when he was filming. So this has not all just been something recent. You have to own up to what you did, and I think people would have a lot more respect for you if you did that. Got it. Um, I have owned up to what I did. About. Okay. You said own up to everybody involved. You, you didn't own up anything to me. You just told me that it was my, you tried to make it like it was my fault and told me that you were going to, like, jump off your balcony because of me. Well, I was. Okay, but that's not, Zach, please tell me how that's my fault. So, as you can tell in that, like, I'm just trying to get him to take some accountability, but the only person that he thinks that he owes an apology to is Bao, um, when in reality he owes one to me and all the other women involved, but because none of us are on a TV show, um, our feelings and our emotions are not valid to him, and I've made that point multiple times portray this image to people that you're this great guy and you were lying to me you were lying to Val. you're lying to all these people hey, but, but, but did you think about the consequences of doing this publicly not not just for me but for Val. did you think about the consequences of what you did for me like you you think that my emotions and my feelings aren't valid just because i'm not on a tv show or something so why did you do it though like why go public because you know, already handled it probably. why why did you do it zach do what? all of this Yes, it going public is on me. I was the one that did make this public. But there would have been nothing to make public if he hadn't done all this shit to begin with. Well, people are already in your comments. Have you not seen your comments? No, I'm not. I'm not, not seeing my comments. People are I'm attacking on. you. They're like... Oh, are my followers going down? I tried to tell him that there's people attacking him in his comments and he said, oh, and then asked me if his followers were going down. Cause that's all he cares about. Take accountability for your actions because that's all people want is that you just take accountability and be an yeah. adult. Yeah. Because avoiding it and just going back to posting like normal, that would be more of like a childish response. How do you know you don't follow me? 
I'm just saying. Now again, I do want to say there is a full video that you can go watch on Little Black Book's channel. She also did an interview with him, I think a week ago, so you could watch that as well. Completely honest, I did not watch it, but um, it's there available for you to consume. So she confirmed that Zach cheated throughout the process, not only with her, but with other women who are now coming out claiming that they also had a relationship with Zach. And to me, it now makes sense because even from the beginning of the season, Pastor Cal was like, oh, you're going to hang up your player card? And he was like, well, what's a player, really? And he talks about how I haven't been in a relationship longer than nine months. I don't struggle to find women. Like, I feel like the signs were always there. It's not that I've had a problem finding girls to date. It's just me, like, you know, having this I ideal person in my head. But, you know, no one has ever lived up to those expectations. It was so frustrating to watch this man gaslight Michaela, and this is not to nullify Michaela's behavior, we all know this, but there was some manipulation happening with the words that he would say, the actions, and just a disparity between how he is to the cameras or how he is to the, the experts and then how he is to Michaela. The way that they were so rocky up and down, there had to be more to the story. So if it is true that there were multiple women that he was engaging with, I could see why he acted the way that he did. If I'm going to come across as the good guy on camera, I need to make it seem like I'm the victim in this situation. So he found every excuse to be emotional, every reason to to make it seem like Michaela was the perpetrator for, you know, the issues that they had in their marriage. And very well, she played a big hand in, you know, the dissolution of the relationship altogether. But this guy was being grimy behind the scenes the whole time and still found a way, mm, sort of, kind of, maybe not really, to come out looking like the better guy, the better person in this situation. And I'm just, I'm shocked but not really. In the um, the video of Elena talking about Zach, while well, talking to Zach, he says he doesn't feel like he has to be accountable because he was already accountable to Bao. He doesn't owe anything else to anyone. And I'm just like, the women that you were involved with, they deserve accountability. You know, it is unfortunate that the situation came out publicly in the way that it did because now that he's a public figure, everybody is going to be looking for some kind of reason to stink him. That's what social media does. They love you until they don't. So it is unfortunate that now it seems like there's a witch hunt out for him, but he still owes these people an apology. Elena was mistreated. These other women were mistreated. Michaela, to an extent, was mistreated. And even Baum now is being mistreated. And it's so frustrating to see somebody who's clearly in the wrong not want to take accountability for their faults. I, I, I've been this person. I'm not even going to lie. There was a time where I felt like the whole world was against me. And at some point you have to look at yourself and be like, why am I always the common denominator in, you know, the turmoil in my life? At some point, you have to look at yourself and think, what do I have to do with what's going on right now? And Zach wants to put the blame on Elena saying, this wouldn't have gone public if it wasn't for you. It wouldn't have been this big if you didn't say anything. Okay, but the ramifications of your actions would have still happened whether people knew about it or not. Elena still would have been played. Bao still would have been played. Michaela still would have been played. Those women still would have been played. Whether or not we know about it, you're still accountable to those women. And I feel like that's actually very disheartening that he doesn't see it that way. I don't know if you guys were able to pick up in the call, but he alludes to wanting to have taken his life because of the situation. This to me is where things are just absolutely despicable. I don't want to diminish anybody's mental illness, mental, you know, their mental wellness and stuff, but to put your life in someone's hands like that is very, very, very manipulative. He said, I was ready to throw myself off the balcony because of this situation. And then I don't know if you could hear it in his voice, but he started to cry after that. And the crying didn't even last very long. It seemed like another tactic that he's used to doing in order to get his way. What if I tell her I'm gonna 
off myself, maybe she'll have more sympathy for me. If I start to cry, maybe she'll have more sympathy for me. And it's true. It's very true because in a lot of times we're not used to seeing men be emotional. So when we see a man showing emotion, our hearts are kind of like, oh, and we, we, do, we don't really know what to do. We kind of succumb to whatever it is that they're asking from us because it's, it's just so foreign. But when a woman cries, it's like, oh, we, th- we cry because it's cathartic at this point. You know, like I cry during freaking the proposal and I've seen it 17 times, you know? So it's definitely a ma- manipulation tactic. And it's, it's so jarring to hear it and see it happen in real time through somebody who we thought was a good person who we thought was, you know, maybe a victim. I didn't think he was always a victim, but there were times where he was victimized for sure. But I'm like, wow, he does this. And if you think about it too, he said, oh, all my exes are like Michaela. All my exes are crazy. All my exes were this. And in one of my videos, I said, there has to be a reason why he's getting the same result from different women who have no correlation to each other. There's something that Zach does that must evoke this kind of behavior because if you're gaslighting me constantly, of course I'm gonna start to act out of character because I'm actually feeling delusional. But then to think it's because of how he acts, like he does this, I'm mind blown. Near the end of um, the conversation between Elena and Zach, he, talks about his followers. Are my followers going down? How would you know what I'm posting? You don't even follow me. And you can see that he is very concerned about his public image. Now, the thing with being a public figure, I feel like almost any reputation, almost, as long as it's not criminal, almost any reputation can be rectified with honesty and vulnerability. But we've already seen he's a gaslighter during the show, post the show. We've already seen he's only worried about perception during the show, off the show. Now he's doubling down, trying to put blame on Elena, saying this is all happening because of you, trying to say, well, I'm just gonna go back to posting as normal and hopefully people will forget about it, which people might forget about it, but you know, he doesn't owe us the public anything, but I think it's a good measure to take, you know, just to say, you know what? I messed up. I messed up not one time, not twice, multiple times. And for that, I am truly, truly sorry. And for him to show actual remorse and to show that it's bigger than the platform, it's bigger than the show, it's bigger than the name that he's made for himself and that real people's feelings were affected, real people's livelihoods were impacted, that would make a change, I feel, in my opinion. Um, it's so interesting how Bao low-key predicted this. It's just she didn't realize she was going to be at the receiving end of Zach's antics. I can't help but feel like he's thinking about walking into decision day and signaling to the world, hey, I'm divorced, I'm single, but Michaela, let's work on our love on the side. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. So at the end of this, I wanted to really get your guys' opinions on how you feel like um, how Zach's been going about this. I mean, he can do whatever he wants. He's an individual person. He has no loyalty to us as people. I just thought it was interesting how, you know, Married at First Sight has been kind of going down the drain as of late. And then you see something like this and it kind of makes you lose hope in something that was once a wholesome experiment. You know what I mean? I dare to say Zach might be the worst husband of Mary at first sight. He really might be the worst. And I only say that because um, he didn't even take the process seriously. He clearly was out here looking for a platform, which it does give you a platform, but the least you could do is ha- like handle the person who you're connected with, in this case it was Michaela, with care. And then when that didn't work out, you were connected with Bao. Handle her with care. Just have some kind of finesse in how you move in this world because like you said, Zach, people's feelings, people's livelihoods were impacted. And that was at your hands as well. They were impacted by your actions and your doing. Um, Who in the comments has been affected by somebody like a Zach? A gaslighter, somebody who made you act 
completely out of line and just like make you question yourself um, because I know I have. I definitely have and maybe that's why I'm a little bit triggered by Zach because it's it's making me think of my own situations. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, do you think Elena should have spoken out? Do you think that she's making it bigger than it needs to be? Do you think she's completely justified to want to air him out and maybe give a voice to the other women who were victims of Zach's actions? Um, let me know all of it down below. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.